welcome. It's me, Persita, and this is Persita's Paradox. So here we are. It is Tuesday, new week, feeling good. Hope your weekend was fantastic and all that other good jazz. If you are new to this channel, thank you so much for joining me. I greatly appreciate you, your time, and you giving me the opportunity today. And if you are a pre-existing, well-loved subscriber of mine who continues to come back week after week, you know that I absolutely am super uber excited that you remain and you keep me going with your support. So here we are yet again on a wonderful day of reflection. And I really wanted to come to you today and talk about the idea of what the most important relationship is in our lives. We tend to talk a lot about this thing called self-love, but I really don't think we understand that the relationship with ourselves is really the most important relationship that you could possibly have in your life. So today, I just want to touch on it and just really give you a little bit more feedback, something a little bit more in depth and just the idea of what that actually looks like. We have an idea typically of things that we do with ourselves and ideas of things that we might buy ourselves or time away. But you know what I'm starting to understand that true relationship with yourself is, is really being aware when you are not comfortable. And what I mean by that is that so many of us have things in our family history. Uh, you know, I, I hate to call it a curse because it puts such a negative connotation behind it. But truthfully, it really is that heavy of a negative connotation. And it's just this idea, right, of how things really transpire and expectations that have just transcended generation after generation into families that indepthly identify who you are going to be, no matter how much you fight it. Because I'm starting to understand that that relationship that we talk about with ourselves is really not the idea sometimes of you not executing the breaking of the curse, meaning you're doing everything you need to do to stop whatever that negative has been going on generationally in your family, it becomes the guilt of actually executing. That to me is just not something that we talk about because we talk so much about doing it for ourselves and loving ourselves and putting ourselves first that there's that guilt part that really goes along with it that we don't discuss as much as we should. And I'm just going to make an effort to continuously push that because I think that the true suffering that a person is going through with self-love and having a great relationship with themselves is not the identity that they cannot do the work. It's really becoming the guilt of as you're doing the work and everything around you, including the people who perpetuate the energy of you feeling some type of, you know, self awareness factor that you think you're better than or that you're fighting them or that you know you're better than them or whatever that is right whatever that energy is is really what I think we're battling due to the simple fact that I have seen it in my own family I've watched it in others and it's this weirdness of like People are excited that you're actually doing something for yourself, but a little bit on the jealous side that you're doing it. Almost as if to say they envy the fact that you're doing it, but they feel as if they should have done it themselves. So they're, they're a little upset with you and not necessarily wanting to join on board with assisting you into getting to that area. Now, I would tell you in my experience, it's few and far between to find an individual who actually is really rooting for you and willing to break the manipulational guilt that they would put on you if they're being affected. Now, you might say, well, what does that mean? Think about it. If you have a cousin and the cousin knows that your ability to assist them in their life has always been you filling in the blanks and so on and so forth for them, for them to then be excited that you're finding yourself and then setting boundaries between them and you isn't necessarily the key to their life, right? And it's very few people in life who will really be excited about you finding yourself in that because typically there's some type of a break that would happen for them. That is the guilt that I'm referring to. The identity of people knowing and you having a clear communication with them about what your goals in life are and what you really want to do and how you really want to do it. But there's a sense of disconnect of them really not being okay with you doing it because it would directly affect their ability to manipulate. And that sounds harsh, 
but I'm just coming from a real place. It is a very difficult thing to deal with when people in your life, especially people that you care and you love about, typically family members or close friends, people you consider to be family, to really watch you grow if they've missed the opportunity in their mind, in their own lives. Maybe they allowed someone in their past, right? Someone down the generational line that did the same thing to them that they're not trying to do to you, but basically they're doing to you. It can become a very complicated, complex identity of you trying to execute, keeping your boundaries and not feeling guilty in the process. I'm just here to tell you that it is okay to have that guilt. It is okay to move through that guilt, but you have to do what you have to do to break that curse because that curse is really what will perpetuate you to find either the good or the bad in what your purpose is. Because you cannot continue to do things knowing the outcome. You cannot continue to not put yourself in a place of asking yourself outside of yourself, what will it feel like if I don't execute what I know that I need to do? Even if that may mean making a person feel some kind of a way. And I say making them feel that way because I'm learning to just own the guilt. Meaning I'm not going to allow anyone's words to put me in a position that I need to defend myself or I need to explain myself because in that manipulation game, you never win. You absolutely never win. If your intent and your purpose is pure and it is not malicious and you are not self-serving and you are not self-absorbed in it, you're still completely conscious of others, but you're putting your Uh, perspective of what needs to happen first because you understand that that is the way life works. You have to become successful before you can assist others. Then you have to do what you have to do. And lo and behold, I'm here to tell you, it's a pretty complicated scenario. It is more complicated than I think we want to deal with because you really are inundated with this this overwhelming feeling of you really have to do it for the person. And that typically happens with a person or like I said, like a family member typically because it has to typically be someone close to you, a lot of typically. But it's a scenario where you have to know even in the process, you're going to have that pull, that comfortable, familiar pull because either you've watched someone generationally do it or you've been told through your upbringing that it's what's supposed to happen and it's the way the family works and you feel like you have to continue it on or it's just something like I'm saying that you know, you've know you been basically pushed upon or some type of a scenario has dropped in your lap and you feel obligated. Here's the irony of the story. For me and mine, I've recognized that if I want to get to a place that's been bigger than what my family has been able to get to in the past, I actually have to do something different. It's just what it is. And no, it does not feel good. And no, it does not make you feel as if, you know, you're necessarily following the family tradition. But this is a time where we have to understand in that relationship with ourselves, what new tradition are you trying to set And what new thing are you trying to create? New opportunity needs new space. And with that, you cannot necessarily do anything more than create. And you can observe what has happened and you can even take note of what has happened previously, but that would now have to be considered an old fact. And in that old fact, you'd have to move forward and say, it's time for some new facts. So I just wanted to come to you today and give you that because like I said, I have been toying with it in my own life. I've been talking to some friends offline about situations in their lives and I realize we're actually doing what we need to do, but we're feeling guilty in the process. And that's a horrible place to be because you then find yourself falling back on what's comfortable because of that guilt. Get through it, fight it, make it happen because you can do it. It is your goal. You have to know that. You have to allow yourself to live your life and live it to the fullest, even if that means feeling guilty in the process. So as always, live life authentic. Know that I am here for you. If you need me, like, share, subscribe, do all those good things, comment, but make sure you do the live life 
authentically think first. All right. Have a blessed day.